What other exciting products you got from uh, Scorpion Venom there you want to show us today? Well, there's, they have a string cleaner, Mike, and I want to put this bow in a bow press. I'm going to disassemble this, and I'm going to clean a string. I just took this off the rack. I didn't do anything to this to set this up. I took this off of the rack. Now, it's been handled. It's been shot. Um, people have looked at it, taken it off the rack. But now, before I get started, Mike, what I want to what I want to prove to you and what I want to show you is the old school idea of waxing your string. Okay, we're going to move to the 21st century with some new products. And this idler wheel, okay. Now I'm not jacking around here. You see if you can turn it. Let me hold the mic. You hold the mic. Okay. There's no way. All right. I can turn that. Let me help you. You get on it, and I'll get on it. There we go. Two, okay, both of us wrenching two on job. it. Two-man job. And the point I'm going to make is that this product is not a silicone. It's not a t uh, Teflon. It is a polymeric. These guys, if you want to get lost in about two seconds with the, with the uh, configuration of what they've done, molecular structure and all that stuff, these guys will bury you. These guys are absolutely brilliant. They are very good at what they do. And they have given us a set of products that... I'm going to show you something here just a little bit will blow your mind. Okay, let's okay. get started. Mike, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the string off, and I'm going to clean it. And I, this is a brand new bow. This is what I'm trying to emphasize. This is brand new. This is no, Nobody's taking this home, put it in their case, taking it to the range, taking it outside. And it's been in the store. He, they pulled it out of the box and hung it up. People have touched it and used it and shot it, but it hasn't got the use that it's going to when, when a customer takes it home, when a bow hunter is going to use it for, for hunting purposes. So I'm going to peel the string off of this. And this is, this, is, this is really, really hard. See, they've got a little sponge top applicator up here. This is real difficult to use. I'm kidding. <laughs> you just rub it on the string, and I'm going to just put some on both sides. I'm going to pull this down here. I'm not going to disassemble the bow. I just want to get at the string. Now, this is the cleaner that you're applying. This is the cleaner. We're going to start with the cleaner. We want to take all the gook and all the grime and all the finger oil and the dirt and, and all the stuff out of there. Now, I'm just starting. Are you seeing what I'm what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's amazing. This is this is a brand spanking new bowl. Now this is just the nature of wax, and this is what manufacturers do to protect their product because it has to you know it's got to have that shelf space and it's got to have some protection on it. Mm -hmm. But you see what I'm getting? So they're coating this from the factory with just a standard bow wax. Yes, that's or correct. Or bowstring wax. Bowstring wax, correct. And what we're doing is we're moving it along to the 21st century, and we're giving people a reason to see that there is a better product out there. And let me just say something else. We're, we're into an age, I started making bowstrings back in the 70s when all we had was B50. And B50 was a good textile, but it was not high performance. It stretched. Every time you, you shot it, it stretched, and then it come back to its original length. And then over time, it would elongate, and man, it would be two inches longer than when you started a year later. Are you seeing this, Mr. Cameraman? You see all that stuff I'm getting out of here? And the new, the new age textiles are 8125, our 452X, our 450 plus, 450 plus premium, uh, S, uh, S4, S4 thin, uh, some of these things that have Vectran in them. These are real high performance, and if you don't lubricate them, they start, work, they start cutting themselves apart from the inside out, and a lot of people don't realize that. Some people shoot enough arrows that they'll witness that because the string will come apart. Okay. Most people don't shoot enough and it doesn't come apart, doesn't get that bad, but it'll start looking that bad, and you can tell that it's time to do something different. And that's where people see the, the little frayed ends starting to stick out it of the string? starts getting fuzzy. And some, some strings uh, have that characteristic more than others, and the bow string fluid that I'm going to show you here in just a couple seconds takes care of that fuzzy look. And it uh, basically what will happen, and I'm just about done cleaning here, but I just want to give this a second. Now, this is brand new, and I'm still getting gook out of the string. I just, okay, this, mm -hmm. I'm, for the sake of time, I'm right, going right, to move right, along. Right. 